Now, power officials are trying to remove Ill illegal electricity connections in Alexandra, which is in the north of Johannesburg. And they've been met by very angry residents who have been burning tires in that area. Malungelo Boy is there on the ground monitoring uh, the story for us. Uh, Malu, what is the situation like at, at the moment uh, on the ground in Alexandra? Tommy, you can see this, the smoke really that is here as those residents that had been protesting Ella trying to chase officials from city power, preventing them really from accessing the community and cutting those illegal electricity connections. But also I want Morena to pan to the left for you so that you can see that some officials are already speaking to some of the residents of River Park near Alexandra. Those are the residents that uh, have actually been trying to prevent authorities from coming into this particular area. Isaac Mangana speaks for City Paul, why are you targeting this area, Isaac? Um, this area is one of those uh, hotspots yeah. that we have identified at City Power uh, to ensure that we deal with illegal connections. Illegal connections have been problematic for us because of uh, the overloading that we encounter on yeah. our infrastructure that leads to explosions and uh, we had one of the worst uh, uh, winter seasons uh, this past uh, winter uh, because of uh, this kind of issue. So this is one of the areas that we targeted and we also went further down uh, 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 London Road yeah. until they, they didn't Avenue, uh, including at the hijacked uh, factories uh, where we basically cut illegal connections. Okay, so the residents here are preventing you from going into the community. So what's going to happen? Are you abandoning the operation in this particular space? Yeah, fortunately, we, 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 we we, we did manage to cut uh, illegal connections to the areas that uh, we had identified. We didn't go further inside. Uh, I don't think we planned to go further inside. So that's when the community uh, got enraged and uh, we decided to pull our guys outside uh, so that we can engage the community, uh, which we did. Uh, that's why uh, there is some uh, calm now. And uh, we've got the, the MMC's office, uh, uh, Councillor Pomerano's office here, to basically address some of the issues because now the community is no longer raising the issue of electricity only, but they raising issues of water, uh, pick it up and so forth. So we thought it could also only be uh, addressed at that level and that's why... Uh, the, uh, the I do want us to stick to the issue of electricity because one of the residents said to me that even if you guys uh, disconnect them, your officials are going to come back and connect them and they will have to pay them. So your officials are involved here one way or the other. Look, while we are aware that probably our officials are involved in this kind of criminality, which we really take seriously, and uh, G uh, Group Forensic has already uh, started uh, engaging some of the elites to ensure that we deal with this issue of uh, our own officials who come and, 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 and reconnect. We know because of also some of the cables that, that we managed to uh, recover from, from, from the cutoffs belong to City Power or ESCOM. So we know that the, we, we do have some of our officials that are doing this and we, we will deal with that uh, internally but remember we've got contractors yeah. uh, who do our maintenance so we are addressing that also with our contractors I do want to find out though how much money are you losing here as a result of this Look, uh, we, we, uh, across the city of Johannesburg, yeah. in terms of our non-technical losses, we are losing about two billion, uh, due to, among others, illegal connections. Uh, so that is a lot of money, money that could have been used uh, for other maintenance issues of electricity. All right, thank you, Isaac Mangana. There, Tommy, he speaks for City Power.